Hello. Hi there, ma'am. This is Ron calling from the Uber Corporate Office legal team. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. Um, so I've been asked to reach out to you because um, I understand you've had a couple um, of correspondence with us recently. Um, yeah, first of all, you can't reach you guys, for one. That's terrible. Secondly, I'm the vice president of a non-for-profit. We supply service stocks to our veterans, okay? And I have a veteran in, uh, who five times within the last couple of days has been left out there because he has a service dog. Now, he states that he has a service dog, and then they come and then they refuse to pick him up. Okay, ma'am. So what I have done, can I just confirm the gentleman's um, name? Michael Bates. Michael Bates, yeah. So I, I've pulled up his account. I see he has an account with Uber on his phone. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And so what we're able to do using the technology that we have, it will tell us when a driver has been close to a customer and subsequently driven away. So we do get that, that data. We can actually find out who these drivers were. And I've actually managed to reach out to two drivers who mm -hmm. I see came over to him. And I've spoken to them about why they didn't pick him up. Now, what they're telling me is that it's nothing to do with a the dog. They actually both happen to really like dogs. It was the gentleman himself that was the problem. Um, he was very disheveled, appeared to be inebriated, and was ranting about Donald Trump. And that is the reason they didn't let him in the vehicle. It was nothing to do with the dogs. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, on one occasion, he was smoking a large cigar and appeared to have his balls hanging out of his trousers. And again, they're just not going to let him in the vehicle while he's in that state. The dog is quite welcome. If the dog does want to buck okay. any time, the dog is perfectly welcome in the vehicle. Um, it's just he really needs to clean up his act. I see. Okay. Does that help okay. explain everything? Well, that does explain. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he does have a disability, but what you're telling mm -hmm. me is unacceptable on yeah. his part as Ab well. Absolutely, um, yeah. And, yeah. you know, um, but my bird, and you'll have to understand, you know, he's a veteran. He's telling me he's getting refused because of his dog. So right away, yeah, no, no, no. You know, no, no. The my shackles the... get up there, and I'm like, "Whoa, wait a minute!" And he said it happened again today. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and was he this? Uh, the, uh, what was that today that this happened? Um, or was it the last time? Do you know uh, when these me, incidents let, took place? But today me. he said. Um, or was it yesterday? And let me see what his message is to me. Hold on one moment, okay? I mean, the message um, the message I've got here is from today's incident. I understand yes. he, he, he ordered the Uber, and when the Uber pulled up, it was an Asian gentleman, and he leaned into the vehicle and said, no gooks, and then it was him that walked away. Um, oh. So I, yeah, yeah, so I think that oh. may be the issue, yeah. I see. Yeah. Um, now he said he has three witnesses. I don't know what he has three in witnesses. Um, so three witnesses. I don't know what he's telling. So he wasn't me. alone. He, he wasn't alone when he was getting the Uber, even though he had indicated on the app that he was alone. Was he alone, or he wasn't alone? Well, I don't know. I wasn't. I I could reach no, out. No, I mean, oh, I thought that's what you just said. I mean, I what I could sorry. what I could do is I could reach out to the drivers so you can get a first hand account. Um, you know. Um, I just yeah, let me reach because, out to uh, um, let me reach out to the driver here. Um, I've I've got them on speed dial, so this will only take a second. They'll they'll probably be in their vehicles, okay. but they can give us a first hand okay. account. Hold on one second. Got the first one on speed dial here. Okay, and what? Just one moment, ma'am. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, it's ringing now. Here we go. This is the driver. Oh, yes, I had all please. Oh, yes. Hello, Wang. This is uh, Ron calling from Corporate. We spoke earlier. Oh, yes. How are you doing? Oh, good. I've got the lady on the phone who had initiated the complaint about your uh, altercation earlier. Can you just maybe speak? Ma'am, this is the driver. His name is Wang. Oh, you're talking Hi, about crazy old man. Okay, yes. How can I help? Tell uh, what happened, he, Wang? Was he alone? It was it just him and his dog or was somebody with him? It was him, that dog, and some ugly lady. It might have been dog, I'm not sure. But they, they scream at me, and they call me name. And then they tell me, okay. and they throw spring roll at me. A two dog and possum or something. They threw something at you? 
They threw something at me. They threw a spray. I don't know where they get spring roll, but they throw spring wait a minute, roll at me. Wait a minute, Wang. Did you say he had two dogs and a possum? Was that? It looked like possum to me. It may be an ugly lady. I don't know. Okay. Ugly lady? Is that what he I don't saying? see too good. I Asian, you know. I had sunglasses on. I had my visor down and I Asian. I can't see too good. But she threw the two thing at me. And then he wouldn't get on. And now I get the complaint. That people complaining about me. I, I pick up everybody. I don't discriminate. Okay. Uh, excuse me, but did he say an ugly lady? I think that's... Oh, yeah, she's ugly. She's very ugly. Hell. Okay. Might have been man. I don't know. Right, right. Hold on. They're coming. You pay. You pay now. Hold on. That's a, they're... Okay, we got some blue gum biscuit lip, bitch. Get up. I got to go. Get out of here. Um, okay, I think I don't he, know about you, but I that's think, not a good representative of your company. I am, yeah, I, I apologize for that, ma'am. I haven't, uh, I mean, I spoke to him earlier, he was perfectly polite, but um, wow, I, I apologize, I, mean, I apologize for that. I didn't even get a chance to ask him, I was going to just ask him outright, you know, his policy on dogs to make sure it, it, it aligned with us here at corporate. Well, apparently, he was calling somebody a bitch and he was telling me that right. the gentleman's wife is extremely ugly. Yeah, I mean, he said he he definitely said that. Let me just check my notes here. He definitely confirmed yeah, to me said. earlier that he was with a woman. Yeah, and, and the ugliest woman he ever seen. Well, regardless of what you, and then he's got sunglasses on and he can't see. Okay, I think you might have to look at him a little bit. Gosh, I'm not saying that okay. my guy was a gentleman, but no, no. Okay, well, look. Just let by me... the way he's talking, the way he's talking. Yeah. There might be more to this altercation that meets the eye. Well, look, I have the, I have. I have two more drivers who I know have interacted with him. Let me call one of the others and see if it corroborates what the, 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 the gentleman Wang there said. Would that be okay? That would be fine. Okay, let me patch in driver number two. This is Scoby. Oh, hey, Scoby, it's Ron over at Corporate. We spoke earlier. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Scoby, I have the lady on the line, and she just wanted to really get your version of events again with the, the gentleman from, uh, I think it was yesterday. Do you know the, the the customer that complained? I spoke to you about it. Are you there, like man? I sent all that over earlier. Um, yeah. The, if you'd the, like me to go. The, lady, so the lady's on the phone now who initiated the complaint, and I guess she just wants to maybe ask you a couple of questions. Are you there, ma'am? Yes, I am. Okay, this is Scoby. He was the other driver. Go ahead, ma'am. Uh, Scoby, um, that was a gentleman with a service dog, correct? And was he rude is, to you? Uh, rude is not, I wouldn't use that term, ma'am. First of all, I love dogs, okay? I don't, I don't care if it was a service dog or not. That's not an issue. The issue is the fact yes. that he, he had some woman with him, and he literally spit directly into her face. There was a bit of a confrontation between the two. He then, okay. from what I could see, basically grabbed her head and he forced her to to kiss him. He tongue kissed her for for several seconds. Uh, at that point, she tried to pull away from him. At that point, he he spit directly into her face. Okay, I tried to calm the situation down as best that I could. He then referred to my mother as a nigger lover. So at that point, you could imagine. Oh my I, I'm not god. Gonna shoot. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Oh my god! I, I just I can't deal. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, no, I no, 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 no. I'm getting and and please excuse me because this is why I want to hear. He's giving me his version of being told that he's not allowed in the car because of a service dog, and so that's uh, where no, I got that's, upset that's because we're the organization no. that supplies service dogs to our veterans. Okay, if he is acting this way, then this is something I need to address going forward to other people because that is not tolerable at all are you his mother ma'am oh no oh gosh no <laughs> i'm the vice president of the organization that supplies the service service dogs okay 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 yeah, it was very okay. disrespectful so i've never I've, I've been driving forever i've never come across an individual like that and i do apologize for that because I was upset thinking 
people were not allowing him in the car because of a service dog, which is an ADA violation. And now I'm hearing a whole other story, which is upsetting me very much that I'm going to have to take in. Cause now I will take it from here. Of course. With him. Are, are you, okay? are you also the one that supplied the monkey that he had? The monkey. Yes. He, he had a monkey. <laughs> he had a monkey and he kept saying he okay, had clients. Now, I, I just, did he have actually a monkey with him? He had a monkey, ma'am. Yes, he did. Okay. Now, if I describe him to you, I just want to make sure we got the right guy. Tall guy, kind of tall, not real tall, glasses, beard, older gentleman. The dog was a uh, black that, dog with white paws. That sounds like he, he kept he kept referring to the, the service monkey as Jojo. I, I don't know. Did he say anything? Does that about, sound familiar? Did he call? Did he name the dog? Did he say the dog's name to you? Uh, I wasn't. You know, to be honest, I, I can't remember the okay. name. No, no. Okay, was it a black dog? That is correct. I believe the dog was black. Is, okay. And he had a monkey. The best I can understand. He anything. was training. I don't and, know anything. And here's about the weird the part about it. He kept. Essentially, from what I could tell, he was training his mon monkey to roll uh, what appeared to be marijuana blunts for him. I, 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 what? Oh, my God. And Oh, my God. I don't know anything about a monkey. I do not know anything about a monkey, but, oh, my gosh, this is something all new. And um, he had the monkey wow. riding the dog around around my vehicle. He was chasing after. Again, I've never seen anything. It was like a circus show. Literally, the monkey was on the dog and they were running around my vehicle. At this point, he began arguing with the woman that was with him. As I said yeah. earlier, he tried to well, kiss I think, her. She I think, wasn't allowing it. And sorry. he forced this woman. He forced his oh, tongue my. down her throat. Um, Mr. Scobie, just to let you know, um, we did get your permission earlier to pull the black box recording from your vehicle. So that is correct. I do have part of the, basically the end of the altercation where I believe you were asking him to get out of the vehicle and the monkey was, was doing a thing. Ma'am, would it be okay if we play you back some of the, the footage? Obviously you won't be able to see it, the know, video. This is, but... this is almost like a, a, sh a comedy. Sh yeah. I, I'm, I'm, this is for real. Well, yeah, ma'am, I'm I'm looking at the recording here, and yeah, there is a monkey. Um, and obviously, you won't be able to see the video, but if I hit no. the playback button, at least you'll be able to hear what happened. Does that sound okay? okay. So you're gonna yeah, hear okay. you're gonna hear Mr. Scobie talking on the recording, okay? So let me just okay. hit the play button. So, Mr. Scobie, if you can stay on the line, I'm just gonna play back the recording, okay? Of course, of course. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, please, please. I, I don't know what's going on right now. Calm down, please. Calm down, sir. Get off my monkey. You need to calm down, or I'm not going to drive you. You understand? Calm down. Calm your monkey down, sir. Okay, ma'am. That was the recording. Obviously, it's a little bit distressing. Did you manage to hear that? I did. Right, right. Did that sound like him? I'm texting him right now, asking him if he has a monkey. Because that is a... Oh, my, I'm, can I tell you I'm thoroughly shocked by all this? Yeah, me too. I've I never dealt with this, anything like this. This, is, well, I mean, this is almost something like seeing on TV. You know, like a joke. Someone's punking. Well, no, ma'am, you heard... You know what I mean? You heard the recording no, there. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Ma'am, what might help, Ooh. actually, look, look, because obviously we don't want to lose either of you as a, as a customer, and I understand there are some quite sensitive and well, no. poss possibly complex issues. Well, no, let me tell you something. If he's like, acting like that, I don't blame any... I wouldn't take him in my car. Well, no, ma'am, but the thing is, the thing is, we like... Because obviously he's a veteran, and we do want to, you know, work with him here. I, the best thing might be to do, while I've got you on the phone, um, if you want to give me his cell number, I can patch him into the call, and we can discuss this together. Would that be Okay. No, he's a little, no, that, I'm going to do this on my own with him. 
because well the problem is like, i mean the problem is ma'am that unless we can get him on the line with you as a kind of mediator uh, the only thing i can do is close both of your accounts let me see if i can get him on the phone okay because due to the circumstances I oh okay I mean, I, number. if you could if you could three-way him in that's even better okay so hold on one second I mean, we don't, we don't currently have a legitimate phone number for him because um, he recently got asked to update his phone number on the app and he just put 69696969 as the number. Okay. So we don't have a way to reach him. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, God, she hung up while she was trying to three-way him in, the dizzy bitch. She let me do it. Oh, God, that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ma'am, no problem, ma'am. Um, so, did you manage to three-way him in? Hold on. No, hold on a second. Were you laughing? No, there's somebody in the office behind me laughing. I'm sorry you heard that. I was just closing the door. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm like, okay, is this a joke? No, no, no. <laughs> there's, there's about 30 people in the office with me, and it gets a bit loud sometimes. You can imagine. Okay, so I'm going to hold on one second. Great. I'm trying to do it on my phone and okay, I'm going to, uh, so she's called him, but she hasn't merged the calls. <sighs> I'll make it so she can't hear me just in case. So what she's done is she's called him on a separate call and now she doesn't know how to go back to the main menu and press merge calls. <sighs> Oh, oh, she's going to figure it out. Oh, I'm sorry. He didn't pick up the phone. Oh, gosh. And there's, Could you let me have the best number to reach him on? Because otherwise I do need to close the account because he doesn't even have the legit phone number on here, you know? I know, but I can't, according to the HIPAA law, can oh, give you the no, you can't, his, no. His consent because he is a veteran. He needs understood, in our organization. understood. No problem. Um, I mean, I, I'm like, I'm actually going to call the CEO on this and we're going to have to check right. into this whole situation. He's not answering. I sent him a text asking him if he had a monkey. Right, okay? right. And I mean, you so would you I'm, would normally reply to a text like that, wouldn't you? Like, you, you would say no, right? I mean, gosh. Yeah, yeah I would think that you would yeah. answer me, you know, especially if you knew what I was doing, you know. And to put me in a situation like this, this is, I, I'm going to have to do some serious investigation. Um, I understand completely. Man. I'm well, also look, look, concerned look. about the dog, actually, right now as well. I mean, in all the reports I've got, it did say the dog was well cared for. It said the dog okay. was well groomed and he was giving it snacks and the dog seemed happy. Um, okay, okay. And the, the monkey wasn't doing anything to the dog? No, the monkey and the dog seemed to get along quite well from what I can see. At one point, it says here the monkey was riding the dog, kind of like a small horse. Um, but they seemed perfectly happy. That's a service dog. It's not a circus animal. Well, I know. I know. I mean, if it if it helps, the monkey was also grooming the dog. Yeah, I'll take the beastie out. For the beast. Sorry about that, man. What did he say? Sorry, that was my colleague next to me. Okay. Um, All right. Well, I'll yeah. check into this. Ma okay. I mean, what I could do is maybe. Um, we only have this one phone number, and it could be any yeah, any number, number of, yeah. any number of people that you get when you call back. But I could give you a call tomorrow once you've uh, once you've spoken yeah, to him. Yeah, please do. Um, please do. Let me do some checking into this because um, this is the most bizarre thing I've ever encountered. I, like I said, I almost think that it's like a punk thing. I cannot believe that I'm hearing what I'm hearing. No, it is okay. it is unusual. I've certainly never dealt with anything like this before. Um, but, um, mm. because I, I did have another one who complained and I thought it was Uber, but it was Lyft, but they have called Uber and did have a problem to it, their service dog. So my question is, this is your policy. If they state they have the service dog, they should take the dog. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. We, we always take, um, I'm just reading through the company policy here and it, and it literally, it quite literally says we will accept any service animal. Uh, including okay. service dogs, service cats, um, emotional support, sea lions, because, um, everything yeah, is covered. Um, I have stressed to the veterans when they have to take an Uber to please stress that you have a service dog because 
Though the ADA doesn't care if they're allergic or not, I do have sympathy for them because that is their automobile and stuff like that. And out of a courtesy, I say, let them know. So if it's someone who does allergic or whatever, <clears throat> they'll send someone who will take the dog. Do you so know what as, I mean? As a general I give that rule, much consideration. As, as a general rule, just to let you know for future reference, um, if it's an Indian person, you don't need to worry. So if the driver is Indian, you don't need to worry about notifying them anyway. Why? Well, because if you bring a dog into one of those cars, frankly, it's going to smell better, you know? You know what I mean. Oh. Okay. You know what I mean. Okay. All right. Well, I thank you. No problem. Um, I, uh, I could give you a call tomorrow or on Wednesday. Okay, that would be fine. All right, no problem. So, I'm sorry, I think and your name again was? My name is Ron Blackman. Okay. Um, they call me, my nickname is Bogo, so if you ever call back, uh, if, if they don't recognize the name Ron, just tell them you spoke to Bogo. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Thank you ever so much Thank for your you. time, and thanks for working with us on this, and uh, you have a great day. You too. Just bye not bye. in one of our cars. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>